Hi guys, this is Annie Henderson, and here's my sidekick, Skeeter. And Skeeter is a miniature dachshund, and she's ready to play, so hopefully she's not too loud in the background. So, <laughs> um, what I want to talk to you today is the importance of your environment and your mental, physical well-being. So, I want to talk to you about a study um, it's an old study uh, with Skinner boxes is what um, it was called. And the study had rats. Actually, it was a rat in solitary confinement in a cage, a small cage. And it had, there was two choices. There was a bottle of water or a bottle that was mixed with um, some kind of drug. Um, and then the rats could choose. And of course, being in solitary confinement with nothing else to do, the rats did go for the um, drug-infused water. So they used that to think and to realize that um, drugs are very addictive and um, take, take a look at that one. But here's the, here's the really awesome part. Uh, Bruce K. Alexander, if you look him up, in the 70s and 80s had another experiment where he created a rat park. Lots of space, uh, balls, wheels, um, plenty of room, lots of other rats. So there's the social aspect, uh, both sexes of rats, so lots of opportunities. And they still had both water options. One was infused with morphine and the other was plain water. And with that, with the environment full of social activities and fun and just physical activity, <laughs> sorry, my dog's playing with her toy. Um, with all of those options, the rats would choose the water, the clean, pure water. Hmm. Um, even after being in the solitary confinement box and having the morphine infused water for 57 days, once switched over to the rat park that was full of space and activity and socialization, um, the rats would actually wean themselves off of the morphine water and choose the, the pure water. Isn't that amazing? Definitely look that up because I'm, I find it fascinating. But think about that and think about how you're feeling. Sometimes we do feel depressed or sad or, and sometimes it has to do with our thoughts and sometimes it might have to do with our environment and shifting our environment. So, um, if you don't do anything else with this information, just look it up because it's, it is very fascinating. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, your challenge is find something stimulating in your environment, whether it's reaching out to friends or family or getting some physical activity in. Um, hopefully the rats at least teach us that. All right, that's it. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.